Welcome back to Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It's time to try to find Dusan and free them or help them in some way, they're Tibor's brother. And also look for Tibor's keycard, which is supposed to be on one of the guards. So I got a bunch of people down here. Three normal police people and an exosuit, which is going to be the real problem, I think. Yoink! Oh. Wait, you're a prisoner? What, is the prisoner scared? They should be happy. They were actually getting scared. Wow. Strange. I really need to learn a way to deal with the exo suit people. Can I trank them? Almost certainly not. Can I shock them? Maybe. Can I gas them? Maybe? I don't know. Can I do a takedown? Um, <laughs> I've never tried, but probably not. Oh my god, you can do a takedown? What the hell? Are you serious? It appeared. It wouldn't lie to me, would it? That's gotta be noisy as hell though, right? I mean, what is that even gonna look like? Ripping out wires and stuff, or what? I, uh... Yeah, I guess when they come back here, I'll do a takedown. I just keep doing it? Okay, yeah, I didn't think that would work, so it did lie to me. Ah. Oh. Okay, well, I think now might be a good time just to straight-up experiment. Let's just see if tranks work, if shocky things work, and if gas works. Okay, here we go. Gonna shoot it with a trank. I literally didn't even notice that it got shot. <laughs> it didn't even feel it. Yeah, I don't think they have any exposed body part, do they? Okay, let's try to shock him. Well, okay, hold on. It worked for a second. Yes! Okay, so yeah, the shock will take him out for like... It's like two seconds max, and during that time, if you do a takedown, you can actually take them down. Okay, good to know. Now I wonder about gas. Okay, let's try gas. Mm. Mm, nope. Here we go. And yep, they're just asleep, they're not killed. It sounded loud as hell, but it didn't get their attention even over there, so... It wasn't horrendously loud. Can I- oh my god, I can move their body. They must weigh, like, a ton. Kinda hard to hide you, especially since you got light shining off of you. That is so cool. Well, the rest of this should be pretty easy-peasy. Hmm. 
I could shrink that person, but I'm worried about them seeing. And they've got a helmet on and stuff. Maybe I could hit him in the neck? I'm not sure. A little bit worried about it. Let's... Okay, I'm gonna do something fast. Ooh. Ooh. Right in the eyebrow. Ugh. Oh, I felt that one. Wait, the Rucker Extraction Secondary neutralized the cops. Wait, what? Whoa, 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 what? What's happening? My interval credentials aren't going to work with these cops. The minute they see an AUG inside their outpost, they're going to attack. If I want to free Dusan, I'll have to take them down. My way, of course. Oh, the Rucker Extraction is just the name of the quest. For a second, I thought maybe, like, Rucker was inside of the jail cell or something. Okay, well, that confirms that Dusan is inside of there. None of them had Tibor's access card on them. It's unfortunate. Ah, oh, that just turned off the camera upstairs. Nice. We'll go see Dusan in just a second. I think I'm going to more aggressively use biocells, just because I'm tired of running out. I can always buy more. I mean, I have so much money. What is it? What was that? Twenty? Yeah, twenty-six thousand. I want to buy Praxis kits with it, but I just haven't seen any for sale lately. All right, Dusan, I got gotcha. you. Um. Holy shit, this is this is a torture chamber, isn't it? I mean I've got like fucking hammers and saws and stuff. Those cops won't be a problem anymore. Too bad. I was just starting to warm up to them. I can try and get some more down here if that's what you want. <laughs> no. It is better this happens now before I become too attached. You mind untying me? Sure. So, was it Tibor or Adela that asked you to help me? Or something else? A man getting savagely beaten isn't something I can just watch, regardless of the reason. Well, you know cops, right? Assholes do not need a reason. I do know cops, and whether it's right or wrong, there's always a reason. Look, all I know is that since the Ruzika bombing, the police have been cracking down on us hard. They suspect Ark, of course, but they're blaming every Og. For most of them, it's just another excuse to hurt us. I thought you weren't a member of Ark. My brother is. I just repair things for them sometimes. Heating units, security cameras. It is how I earn a living for my family. Do you know if Ark was responsible for the Ruzika bombing? No. And I do not want to know. After this, I am done with them. Being associated with Ark. Even if they are our only hope, it is not worth the pain. Look, you want to know what Ark is up to? You're going to have to ask them yourself. Fair enough. How do I do that? When you have robbed the man of all, the things... He is no longer the... He has no more of... Shit! Power? Something? Freedom? How does it go? Are you feeling alright? It is this week's passphrase. It is Selznick or Solzhenitsyn. Ah, I got it. When you rob a man of everything, he is no longer in your power. 
he is free again. Just remember the quote. It'll get you past Lubos. He guards the way to the Ark Elevator. Just repeat the quote, and he will let you in. This'll help. Thank you. It is the least I can do. Thanks to you, I get to sleep in my own bed tonight. So, do I still have the quest objective to get Tibor's keycard? I do. Yeah, it says it's a keycard that could get me inside Ark territory, but it sounds like if I have the passphrase to the elevator, I maybe don't need it? I don't know. Still wouldn't hurt to have it, certainly. Alright, let's go see about those prisoners upstairs. Can I even talk to them? Prison within a prison. That makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is kind of ironic. The early complex itself is a prison. Just leave me alone, wrench. Fucking traitor. Yeah, I can't do anything for them. Wait a sec. What's in there? Damn heavy objects. One of these days... One of these days I'll actually put a point into being able to move that stuff. Yeah, this is where I came in. All that stuff. I do want in here. Let's blow it up. Got some frags. Nice. Oh, that just, <laughs> that just takes me directly to the person I just freed. I see. Alright, so we're done with this area then. Let's head back to the marketplace. Yeah, just right up here. Up these stairs. So I've been in the marketplace before, but through a vent. I haven't actually gone up the stairs normally. I think I have tuberculosis. Ooh. You can't have TB. We cured that. No, we can treat it with medicine. But when's the last time you heard of any medicine being delivered to this hellhole? <laughs> you, uh, you have some blood specks on your shirt. Blood specks on their shirt? That might be TB. You heard about the bombing at the train station, right? It's terrible. I still can't believe Ark would do such a thing. They did it. Ark is the good guys. I know where the police have confiscated neuropathy. They're arguing about neuropathy. Ooh. Is anybody going to get angry if I hack these? This is restricted, so is this like a police place or is it just private property or what? Ooh. Revolver, I don't see those very don't see those very often. Yeah, and I really comparing those two, you can really see how different Otar's revolver is. Very customized, not just with accessories, but also the the handle part. It's like got a wood grain kind of thing. Whoa. Story item, supply crate, what is this? A crate of supplies. <laughs> Thank you for the description. Uh, that sounds like something I could give to help people out, you know? Like medical supplies or whatever it is. Wonder who I could give it to, though.
Whoa. Cool. Is this a nursery? It's just not fair. I thought that having a baby would be the greatest day of our lives, but now... I know. I'm scared too. Is it right, do you think, for us to bring a baby into the world? What kind of parents would force their child to grow up in a place like this? If you're suggesting what I think you're suggesting, I... I don't know. Yeah, what if this is where the neighborhood kids go? Actually, now that I think about it, I just suddenly realized I have never seen a single child in the entire game. Huh. Strange. Flesh and Chrome. Uh, looks like a fiction book, Chapter 9, Thumper. You can read this if you'd like. Yeah, you'd like nursery. <laughs> I don't know what information I hope to find here. Granted. Oh, it's a bunch of stuff. Um, let's see. Subject regarding Utilec IMR. What kind of numbers? We knew IMR was going to be higher given all the environmental... Oh. Oh, whoops. Um, I've been looking over records here at the Utilec Complex and I'm seeing some pretty scary infant mortality numbers. Well, oh, that's what IMR is. Infant mortality rate. I'm going to run through the math again, but if these numbers hold up, I'm going to have to recommend that all women have pregnancy tests before being sent here. Um, you need to understand that Ulick is basically a micro third world. Not every child is going to survive. I did the math again. It's worse than I thought. IMR is 4 in 10, of which 90% are preterm births. Chris, I am deeply concerned. We can't have women giving birth in this place. 4 in 10? Jesus. Okay. Give me some time, weak tops, to sort this out with the board. In the meantime, why don't you get all of your patients on a course of... Um... Antenatal... Cor corticosteroids. Corticosteroids? I'll get back to you. Audrey, I've spoken to Dollarhide. He's gonna raise the... He isn't going to raise the alarm on the IMR inside Udalek. He said that the pool you're getting your numbers from is too shallow to be accurate. Fucking bureaucrat. Did you know he's a Santo shareholder? Probably trying to protect his goddamn investment. <sighs> Sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna keep pushing this on my end. I think it's time I call in a very overdue favor. Do your best to keep your patients healthy. Automatic notification. Oh, looks like they tried to email Nathaniel Brown. This is from Nathaniel Brown. To Audrey. Greetings, Doctor. I've just learned of the disturbing facts you've uncovered at the Utilec Complex. It is safe to say that this news has affected me greatly. It is also safe to say that Atticus Dollarhide is no longer in charge of things, nor is he a Santo Group shareholder. Your colleague, Dr. Davis, is in charge now, and he and I are in the process of organizing to have you and your patients transferred to a temporary facility in preparation for permanent relocation to our new Rabia site. The nursery program at the Utilec Complex is to be scuttled immediately. I owe you a great debt of gratitude, Doctor. Thank you for your keen eye and your humanitarian spirit. Every life matters. Yeah, sure, Nathaniel Brown. How can I properly express my appreciation for your actions? I'll begin preparations. Mm -hmm. And I guess to that they didn't receive a reply, reply because Nathaniel Brown is out of office. If this has been... If this has been a fixed problem, though, right? Like, if anybody who, I guess, is, is pregnant is going to be taken to some other place where they can give birth somewhere where they can actually be, you know, taken care of and everything, 
then why are these two even discussing pregnancies? I mean, it's Nathaniel Brown. I'm sure that whatever they were saying was just being a slippery weasel and, I don't know, trying to buy time or whatever, or just not carry through on their promise. They don't give a shit. So, have I been here before? Where did I find that shop? It was here. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, so this is where I found, um, Entity. This was, this was Entity's shop. I'm not sure how to get there exactly. I guess down some stairs. Tibor almost certainly is. I took some kind of uh, escort, a key card, okay. well, what? I've got a good idea what it's for, too. And if it is, proves he's art. No, an elevator, useless to us. Unless we want to start a real war, which we don't. He's a small fish, for sure. And Dushan, well, probably not even involved, but uh, let's not throw either back without getting something out of it. It's an escoche, Okay, check in later. Over and out. Well, you're a fancy clank, aren't you? I don't know who you work for, fancy. But stay out of my way, unless you want to see the inside of a cell. So, they just publicly admitted to having the keycard. All you ever talk about is Rabia. I think I should follow them. See if I can corner them in some dark place. I can't wait to check this place out though, it looks so cool. God, it's such a public place right now. Eh, I'll come back to him later. Got him marked. Yeah, let's take in this place. Oh, produce. Oh god. Oh, this produce is all rotting. Ew. Oh, that's so cool. Even the, the letterings that are just made out of, like, strung together light bulbs. They're all, uh, they're all blowing back and forth in the wind. So cool looking. Look at this place. Oh, it's a place of prayer for... I guess probably lost loved ones. Or maybe people that they just hope to see again. Oh, it's a dog. I'm not going to steal anything from here. You came here on purpose? It was in the early days of this place. Nobody knew yet what it was really like. Her dad kicked her out because she was augmented, and my parents refused to take her in. She thought she'd be safer living here than on the streets in Prague. And you came with her? That was really good of you. I gave notice at work and followed her two weeks later. But by the time I got here... Oh, Jesus! Well, at least these grains seem okay, unlike the vegetables. Not art for sure. That's not my problem. I can't afford to give away food for free. You have more food than you need. Maybe today, but what about tomorrow? My business is the only thing keeping me from turning into you. Go! Forget it. I don't have anything to spare for some tourists. There are people here who actually need what I have.
Ooh. Ooh, 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 where are they going? My keycard person. Nuts? What the fuck's the matter with you? Oh, look at this laboriously individually labeled circuit boards and computer parts. So nice. Yes, yes, yes. Go back here, my friend. <laughs> They're about to take a piss. There we go. Chicane. Tell Miller the mission's back on track. I've got an elevator pass key that'll get me into Ark territory. Copy that. I'll do a flyby up ahead, get you the lay of the land. Hit me up when you're through. And we got a Praxis. So that's all the secondary objectives, right? Oh, no, actually, talking to Lubos and using Tibor's card is actually a secondary objective as well. So wait, the main part is to talk to... Louise Galloise, who smuggles items into Ark for Rucker. That's what I have to do. Who's Lubos? Oh, they're the... right, they're the person in front of the elevator. Wait, what the hell's going on in here? Are these people dead? Oh, shit. They've all been murdered. God. Anna is pregnant. I won't bring another child into this world. I can't. I tried to do right as a father and as a husband. But the fact is, we're here in this place, this life, because of me. Albert, my brother, my friend. I think that this is the last time we will talk in this life. I'm coming to see you as soon as I can. The Cyclops has us pulling double shifts right now for god knows what reason. Let's talk tonight about what's going on with you and Anna, okay? It'll be fine, trust me. Whatever it is, we can work it out together. As a family. I love you, brother. Is this like a murder-suicide thing? The return of the partially eaten burger. Right next to a dead body, that is weird. Ew. Ew. Probably Anna, if I had to guess. I mean, there's one pistol and they've got it. Um, they don't have any pistols, these two. I think it was a murder-suicide. Oh, there's another person. Three shots in the wall here. Cal, just what you always wanted. I dropped the hardware off at your place, but be careful with it. Lock it in your safe, and don't let your family accidentally stumble on it. If the cops find out you're packing, they'll be in serious trouble and Ark isn't going to be able to help you. Max. Oh, so the gun that they used was a birthday present. Already read that paper. Yep, that's Anna. That looks like this person. This is kind of a long one. Anomaly detected. 
Trace program initiated. Oh, crap. Access granted. Accidentally used a stopworm. Oh, test results from Dr. Martin Onzaima. We actually went to Onzaima's place a while ago, kind of near the beginning. I think in the first episode that we went to this, uh, the Utilite Complex. Hello, Anna. Process the samples you gave me yesterday. Normally, this would be the part where I say congratulations, um, but I know this isn't the answer you're going to want to hear. Regardless, here it is. You're pregnant. Now, with the nursery closed, it's obvious we will have to get you out of Golem City if you plan on keeping the baby. Do you still plan on keeping the baby? Uh, I'm not going to preach, but you know my feelings on this. Of course, I respect that it is your decision. I only ask that you think of what it means if your decision is final. I would refrain from telling Cal until we can work this out. Just remember that you're not alone, Anna. I won't let you down. Well, this has been a miserable place. Almost wish I didn't find it. I'm gonna take your gun from you. <laughs> what is up with this? This thing is wild. Ooh, look at this. That is cool like 50 light bulbs in an orb. Have I been in here? I don't think so. No. Oh Christ, look, they're actually bunking. They're literally... They literally have six places to sleep in the bathroom. Global Politics Review. I'm pretty sure I've already read this. Yeah, pretty sure I already read this. You can read this again if you'd like. Yeah, these are all bathrooms. Whoa. Ed, wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. That's, that's the Edward that I didn't activate their permit for. That's the Edward that was at the little mini-mart shop who wanted to stay in Prague to be near their only remaining family member. How, how quickly did they get, like, deported to this place? Holy shit. Wow. Um, hey. Edward Braun. He shouldn't have ended up here. A lot of people shouldn't have. Don't worry. I don't blame you. You're not the one who brought me here. You're just a man who didn't go out of his way. Makes you no different than anyone else. I'm sorry, Edward. The police came for me shortly after you left. At least now there is no more waiting in fear. No more wondering whether or not they will come. And I see I'm not the only one who got caught. That's not exactly why I'm here. Uh-huh. Well, I won't ask. But I will ask if you have any Neuropozin. It is in very high demand here. There is a terrible shortage. I do, absolutely. Here. It's the least I can do. Thank you. And just so you know, it's not your fault I'm here. It's just the way things are now. It's a nice little detail that you meet them here, although it does feel a little bit too fast. Oh, they just... they just took Neon. They're alive, though.
Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to check out more of this little uh, market district. <laughs>